Hi and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with dice and this is a set from Spellbinders. This is their large die kit of the month. It comes with lots of leaves and flowers so you can build up your own bouquet. Making this set really versatile. It also gives you many sentiments that you can die cut. But the fun part about this kit is that it gives you all these dies that you can use to put together a typewriter. The Spellbinders large die kit of the month always comes with a bunch of uh, dies and I absolutely love this month especially because of that big focal point, that big typewriter. And instead of using one of the sentiment dies, I decided to go with one of the foiled ones that come in the glimmer kit of the month. So I did all the die cutting and now I'm going to put together the typewriter. It's really easy to put it together. You do get those big strips that are actually the keys of the typewriter. All you need to do is to just stick those uh, strips at the back. And then do that for all three rows of the keys. Then I also die cut the same shape out of black so that I can place one on top of the other. And for that I'm using foam tape. This way I will end up having some shadow and it's going to look dimensional. For my typewriter today I decided to go with red, nice and bold, big focal point. And uh, for the keyboard I went with that iridescent cardstock that gives a lovely shine. Then I need to add the space on my keyboard. For that again I went with a tiny strip of foam tape at the back. And you can go with so many different color combinations for your typewriter, but I have a feeling that it would make a great focal point for a vintage card as well. If you have the main typewriter in black and um, vanilla keys maybe, it will look just amazing. Here I'm just adding the last few pieces and you will find that by die cutting this typewriter, it gives you a slit. This is where you will be able to slide inside your paper. On top of your paper you can stamp any sentiment. You can tie cut the sentiment and stick it there or you can foil one just like I'm going to do today. I went with happy birthday and I'm using silver foil to match the color of my keyboard. The great thing about this typewriter is that it's very versatile so you can use this card for pretty much any occasion depending on the sentiment that you choose to go with and since uh, Valentine's Day is approaching that red typewriter will make a great uh, Valentine's Day card if your sentiment is I love you on that paper. Now from the same die set I did use the dies that cut out leaves and flowers. There are many different uh, types of flowers that you get, bigger and smaller, including different types of leaves. But uh, for this design I decided to go with those cone flowers as well as those tiny little flowers. And now let's work on the background with such big focal point. You really don't need to do a lot. The focal point really makes the card. However, I wanted to add something extra on the background. I decided to go with yellow since I have yellow on my flowers. I inked up a little bit the background just to have something interesting going on there. And I'm also going to add some splashes. Now let's slide the paper inside the typewriter. Now this typewriter would make a great holder for a gift card since it fits beautifully inside that slit. And now I'm going to embellish my card by using all those leaves and flowers that I have die cut. I'm going to slide them inside that slit coming out along with the paper. And of course here you can make any flower composition that you like using all those different types of flowers and leaves that they give you in the set. You can have a bouquet coming out of the typewriter instead of using the paper with the sentiment. You can even have leaves and flowers at the bottom of the typewriter or behind of it. Or you can choose not to use flowers at all. So just to finish it off I'm adding a few pearls. And here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.